Little red light for you, our political elites are not telling you some key facts about the Enhanced Canada Pension Plan. You know, in the year 2000, the CPP investment arm had six employees. Well, by 2006, they had 164. Today, more than 1,000. As National Post columnist Andrew Coins uh, points out, the average salary for managers in the year 2000 was about 220 grand. Seven years later, it was 700% higher at 1.56 million. Now, it continues to shoot up. By 2014, 3.3 million. That's certainly not cheap, but there's a couple of other things to consider. The contributions to the Canada Pension Plan are mandatory. You don't have the choice to put that contribution money into, say, a personal RSP or a tax-free savings account. Now, leaving aside that many Canadians would be able to beat the Canada Pension Plan's 4.5% nominal rate of return and hence end up with more retirement money, there's two other really big differences you've got to know. Under the Canada Pension Plan, you don't own your contributions. They're pooled. You have a right to a monthly benefit. Hey, different with an RSP or a TSFA. Hey, you can get the monthly play- payout, plus you own the principal you contributed. Hey, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars different. Finally, if you die early, say at 64, before you even start collecting the Canada Pension Plan, your estate gets nothing. With an RSP, TSFA, your beneficiaries will at least get the lump sum you've contributed, plus any returns. And if married with an RSP or TSFA, your spouse will continue to receive the full payout, plus all the capital contributed. Not so with the Canada Pension Plan. At best, the spouse gets a reduced portion of the payout. That's it. None of the hundreds of thousands of dollars in principle contributed. Just a few more things to think about with the so-called enhanced plan. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talk.